guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you this very simple, easy, classic holiday look. And I know some of you are like, okay, you have on blue eyeshadow. How is that a classic holiday look? But I feel like you can wear any color that you want for the holidays. I mean, the holidays, you can have gold, you can have green, you can have orange, you can have pink, you can have purple, you can have blue. But I wanted to do blue for this look because I haven't really done a blue look with red lips. And of course, I'm gonna be sharing some classic red lipsticks in today's video as well. I'm actually partnering with Minted Cosmetics for today's video. They just came out with three red lipsticks if you guys are not familiar with minted cosmetics they sell lipsticks glosses lip liners and eyeshadow palettes and all of their products on their site are like nude products so if you're looking for a perfect nude lipstick that you don't even have to wear a lip liner with they have them and they actually just came out with three red lipsticks so these are going to be perfect for the holiday season if you're looking for that perfect red I have them right here to share with you guys. So later on in the video, I will go ahead and do some swatches so you guys can see how they look on me. Um, but yes, I'm super excited to show you guys this classic holiday look and how I created it. So this is actually a look very similar to um, the look that I had on in my recent video. A lot of you were asking me to do a tutorial on that look. So this is it except for I just use a different color on the eyes. So you guys will finally get to see step by step of how I create these soft matte smoky look. But yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys my simple and easy classic holiday look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this, then let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so y'all see that this is somewhat done. I'm not all the way done, but I realized my camera wasn't even recording. So luckily we only dipped into one shade and that is from the Natasha Denona Safari palette. This is the one that I picked up during the Sephora sale and I've actually been using it and so far so good. Like the shades actually blend out really nicely on the eyes. I haven't really had any trouble with the palette except for there is a lot of fallout So if you are one of those people that have kind of been on the fence with this palette and you don't like a lot of fallout You may not like this because this does have a lot of fallout, but the shades in here work really well They blend out really nicely. I've actually been dipping into four shades um, a lot recently and those are these two right here this brown and also this kind of like a brown slash terracotta color these are really pretty and they blend out really nicely on the eyes so today we're just going to focus on one shade well no two shades out of the palette so the first one is this blue right here which is gorgeous you guys see it on the eyes like it's so pretty so i'm just going to focus on this shade first so i'm just going to go ahead and shift on over to this eye before we finish up with everything so that way you guys can see what i did over here so pretty much i just dipped my brush into the blue right here and the thing with these shades um or these shadows is they're super 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 pigmented so a little bit is going to go a very long way and i just tapped the brush in the blue a couple of times and this is the pigment that you get like that is pigment so this is what i do i just tap the brush right here on the outside of the lid i try to build it up i don't like to swirl the brush in the shade much because with these shades, you're gonna have to lightly build them up because they, since they're so pigmented, you have to be very, very careful with them. So this is what pretty much I do. I just put the color right here on the outside of the lid. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E40. You guys can use any brush that you prefer. This is the one that I like to use because it works well with blending out my shadows. And I like to use it for many different reasons on the eyes. So if I wanna use it for my crease, I'll use it to blend out a shade in the crease. Or if I wanna use it like I'm doing now, I'll just tap that shade on the lid and then lightly blend it. I'm just gonna kinda wipe my brush off on a napkin just to get most of that color off. And then I'm gonna go back and kinda blend that color in the crease very, very lightly because I don't want so much of the color to shift over. I just want most of the color to stay in this area. I don't really want it to shift over into um, the other side of the lid. So I just lightly buff it in the crease and then lightly blend it like this just blend 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 that is the main thing that you need to focus on is the blend so yeah all right i guess they both match this is all that i'm gonna do with the blue for now now i'm gonna go into the um shade 
girl I don't even know how to pronounce these shades but it's gonna be this one right here at the end and I like to use shades like this for the center of the lid and also the inner corner so that way you can kind of match um, the color of my lid already but it just gives me a nice soft look and the brush that I'm using here is the Fenty Beauty um, I think this one is the tapered blending brush. Tap it and kind of blend it lightly into the blue shade. Now we're gonna go into, what shade do I wanna use? Hmm, it's gonna be hard. I wanna go into this shade right here. And this I'm gonna be very, very light handed with. I'm just gonna take this Lorac brush and tap it into that shade lightly. I'm just gonna tap it one time. And this is where I take that color, the darker color, and kind of put it right here in the crease. And kind of lightly work it up towards the brow bone. I don't know if you guys can see a difference there, but it, it makes a huge difference. I should have just applied that first, but can you guys see that? See the difference? Look how much better it looks when you do that like this just kind of looks messy but once you apply that shade right there it kind of brings it like it just brings it together and right here you can definitely use a different brush i just use a random brush that was close by but i like to use any type of brush that is you know like a good um blending brush so i just lightly place that color right there in the crease and lightly go towards the brow bone and again, this is the same steps that I took in the look that you guys saw in my recent video. So just keep in mind, I use a different palette, which was the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Opposite Attracts palette. But these are the same steps that I took. Just different colors, a different palette, but this is how I created that look. So look how just, like, just, just, I feel like adding that last shade and the crease, this brown, just made it look so much better. So I usually use a black eyeliner um, when I'm filming videos for my bottom lash line so that way the eyes can pop a little bit more. So today I'm actually gonna use a blue. And this is the Milani Metallic Liner. These are their new liners. I got the shade um, Blu-ray. So let me swatch it for you guys. So this is, ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. So this is my first time using this. I just purchased this from, uh, I think it was CVS or Walgreens. One of those, no, CVS for sure. But um, yeah, so they came out with several different colors. They have gold, they have, I think it's like a, kind of like a burnt orange color. So I wanted to grab this one because you guys know I really love a blue eyeliner for the waterline, so. Gonna try this out. I don't know how this is gonna look, but let's see how this looks. I'm gonna go back into the Natasha palette and pick up that same blue that we used the first time and use my pencil shader brush. This is from my brush set. So if you guys have not checked out my brushes, they're actually half off right now. We are doing a promotion and I will have a link down below in the description if you guys are interested in checking out my brush set. So I'm just gonna lightly um, blend that blue on the bottom. Ooh, my eyes are starting to water. All right, so this is what it's looking like so far. I know I look a little crazy, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on my lashes, some mascara, and I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look. Let's go ahead and do some lip swatches of these new lipsticks. So like I mentioned earlier, they did come out with three red lipsticks and they have three different reds. And this first one I wanna share is called Red and Butter. And this one has bright red and yellow undertones. So this is gonna be for those of you who are wanting that super bright, like vibrant red lip. So this is what red and butter looks like on the lips. This next one is called Red Carpet. And this one is described as a classic red with blue undertones. So again, this is in the shade Red Carpet. And then we have the last one, which is actually the one that I have on my lips right now. And this one is called Red Rover. This one is described as a deep red with blackberry undertones. So this one is a little bit deeper than the other two. All of these have a matte finish, but I noticed when I was applying these on the lip, 
the very first one that I put on which is called red and butter this one seemed a little bit more creamier on the lips it didn't look as matte as the other two that I applied but all of these are matte lipsticks and they have such a nice like creamy texture is not drying on the lips it feels very comfortable and they just it feels like you don't have anything on the lips so I did do a full like a review and swatch video on their new matte lipsticks I will have that video down below if you guys missed that video but um, these feel just like those except for like I said earlier or a minute ago um, red and butter this one it I don't know it felt different on the lips it didn't seem as you know matte like the other two that I applied on the lips but if you guys are searching for a really good nice classic red lip they have them so I will have a link down below in my description if you guys are interested in trying these out but yes I think that is all I have for this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see more classic holiday looks on my channel let me know down in the comments and yeah I think that is all that I have if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye